Welcome back to Superstar Glam. Thanks again for joining me on another video. Today's video, I am putting to the test this little gift set. I just picked this up from Ulta. It comes with the face, the eyeshadow, liquid lipstick, and the gloss. And it is all the stuff that I'm wearing on my face today. Also, almost all the products that I am wearing. Um, wearing on my face are elf products even the sponge is from elf so i have actually have recently decided that i have a name that i want to call you guys and i want to start using it so let's just use it for today if you have yet to subscribe go ahead and subscribe and join the superstar glam squad i definitely want to see everybody in the comment section that is enjoying my videos my content to put down in the comment section that you are part of my superstar glam squad family and let's just jump into the video and i picked up this whole um little kit uh from Ulta I don't know if it's called if it's like a holiday set or a holiday gift set but it's called the modern metals collection and it comes with an eyeshadow palette a blush highlighter palette a liquid matte lipstick and a lip gloss so that's what we're going to play with and since I was going to use that, I figured that I tried to do a full face of e.l.f. products. Since I've already primed my face, now I'm going to go in with the foundation. And this one is actually a really good foundation. Um, except for the fact that it is not um, my shade. I think it's a bit dark in the shade Caramel. But I do really do like this um, foundation. It's called the... Oh, I don't even know what it's called. But it is oil-free SPF 15 sunscreen. And it does come with a little pump. But it's almost out. I'm going to mix it with another foundation. Just because, again, this is pretty dark. And I have this one right here. It's the LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition Longwear Matte Foundation. And it is more on the lighter side. It's medium beige. So I'm just going to use just a tiny bit just to lighten this up. I have a sponge that I got as a free gift for that purchase. So I'm going to use this. So it's the Total Face Sponge. It says use wet or dry. So we're going to try it out. Yeah, this foundation is is really nice. I just again wish that that it was my shade, but now I'm just using it up. I don't know how it looks on t on camera, but um in person I don't know, it feels like it's way too dark, but it's okay. Um, For concealer though, I don't have an e.l.f. concealer. So I'm just going to go in with the BH Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. And this one's in the shade 104. I don't know what that is, but it's 104. And it's pretty light, so it should help brighten up this foundation. So for the powder underneath my eye, I'm going to go in with the Rimmel Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder. That's what I have been using and loving lately. And for the rest of my face. I'm going to use the L Finishing Powder in Light Medium. And I'm using the L Flawless Face Brush. 
Okay, and for the contour and bronzer, I'm going to use this, the bronzer palette. This is in Deep Bronzer. I'm just going to apply a little bit on the same brush of the lighter shade just to bronze it up. I'm going to apply this e.l.f. primer. It's in sheer. So this little guess that came with the face palette. It's really, really pretty shades. So it has like three blushers and three highlights. For the face, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix these two end shades. I just want a little bit of color. And then for the highlights, I think I'm gonna mix all three highlights. It is very powdery. Ooh. It sits well. It like melts on the skin. And it is a really nice like wet look. Is what I am seeing. Now I'm going to get started on the eyes. And this is what the palette looks like. Just want to show you, show you a couple of swatches. And so far the swatches look promising. That's really, really pretty. I'm going to start off with that muted yellow shade onto my crease. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and this one is the Sigma tapered blending e40 okay elf with the pigment I'm gonna take the purple and I'm gonna apply it right here in the outside corner and so far there's no fallout I'm gonna take this eye shading brush from Sigma and I'm gonna apply that blue on the rest of my lid that is really nice blue like it's super pigmented not patchy at all going back with the purple I'm going in with this yellowy mustard shade again I'm, and I'm taking that to blend out the edges with this BH fan brush. It's not blending out the smoothest but I'm still impressed by the pigmentation. I'm using the same pencil brush to help blend out those edges. Want it to look as smoky as possible. I don't know why, but I'm getting like corduroy vibes with these shades. Again, blending out. Now it does require you to finick, finick with them a little bit more to get a true 
blend but so far I'm just really impressed with the pigmentation of, of these shadows. I'm going to bring in that yellow under the lower lash line. And I guess I'll do the same combo, the purple on the outer part and the blue in the inner part. Okay, and to stay in the theme of e.l.f., I do have a liquid eyeliner in jet black. Okay, so I finished the other eye. On my waterline, I did go in with the e.l.f. cream eyeliner, and I just applied a little bit on the waterline. I did want to go in with the inner corner highlight, so I'm going to go in with the lightest shade. Ooh, that's bright. Okay. I'm going to take another little brush. And I'm going to take the second shade just to kind of mute this a little bit it's still pretty bright uh, all I'm gonna do is just go over it with a fluffy brush there's no product and just kind of blend it moving on to a brows I have the elf brow pencil and I don't know what shade I have. Probably the darkest shade. And then to be quite honest, I've actually been using this a lot. Um, I was using it because I wanted to use it all up already. And initially I didn't really like it because it has like a really thick edge but since I don't really like do intense carving of my eyebrows like it's just not my thing to like do like sharp lines uh, I've been liking it like I've really been enjoying the pencil and it just helps fill them in like I like the I didn't really try too hard brows even though it takes me forever I mean sometimes it takes me forever to do my brows I like the messy look okay now we're moving on to lips so there's this one, this is the liquid lipstick, and then there's the gloss, and the gloss looks, gloss looks really pretty. I don't know if you can see all the little flecks. Ooh, the doe foot applicator is really pretty and pointy. I'm gonna try, ooh, one slide. Wow, this is really pigmented. Okay, this is really pretty. And I'm impressed with the pigmentation. I'm impressed with this applicator too because it's really pointy. So it's. And it dries super matte. And it feels really lightweight, like, like I don't have anything. It's transfer proof. I'm really impressed. I've never tried any of the liquid lipsticks from e.l.f. So, and I'm just going to top it off with this gloss. It's so pretty and so like festive. Ooh. 
just a t applying it to the center. Ugh. It looks so good. I'm so impressed. I'm done with the e.l.f. products, so I'm going to finish off the eyes with some lashes, and I'll be back. So this is the completed look. So I put some Ardell Wispy lashes with this look. I was left pretty speechless and pretty impressed with this little um, gift set because I think with e.l.f., there's always like hit or miss products and honestly I liked it all I really really like this palette the face palette for the blushes and the highlighters again they are very powdery but for me that's not such a bad thing I think they mix really well together but once you apply them to the face it just blends out really nicely so I really liked the blush combo and I was really impressed with the eyeshadows because they were really, really good. Like really pigmented and although it took me a little bit longer to kind of blend out the edges, um, it wasn't something that I couldn't work with. So I really, really, really did love that. And then to top it off, these lip products. I totally see myself using this gloss, especially for the upcoming holidays, over the top with a nude. I mean, it's really, really beautiful. It has like so many different shifts to it. Really, really pretty. And this one, the liquid lipstick, it was really, really matte. I can only say that if you tend to not like really drying, drying, lip products you probably won't like this but for me I I just thought it was really pigmented it was really comfortable and I don't mind the matte part of it and the applicator it was really really easy to work with and line my lips so I really enjoyed everything that I used today I was even impressed with the little sponge that I used Again, I got this as a free gift for my purchase through um through Ulta. Yeah, and that was pretty much it. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you next time. Bye.